Welcome back to Virtual DJ Tips. Lately I've had a lot of requests for looking at the karaoke functions of the software, so today we're just going to do a quick tip and dive right into that. Uh, over on the side view we have our tabs where you've seen before in other videos, the side view, the sampler, and there's one tab that's got a little microphone on it for karaoke. Here you can drag and drop songs into your karaoke list, which is basically functioning as a rotation manager. So we'll just drag a couple songs into there. And then over on this side, we can click and you see the little microphone icon show up. So here we can click on it and we can just type in our singer's name. So we'll just choose Brian and uh, Cindy will be our two singers. And you can see them show up in the column so you know exactly when or which rotation your singers are in. This is a very helpful feature for karaoke DJs or KJs as we like to call them. You'll also notice that there's something called karaoke options. Now in the karaoke options you'll see something that says background music which is your side list and you can choose which one you want to use. So for this instance um, we can choose an auto mix list a side list, a specific folder, or a specific file. And what this will do is this will play your background music when your karaoke singer or the song has finished playing. So I'll give you an example of that. We'll, we'll use the auto mix list for this example. And I'll just go over into my auto mix and I'll just grab a couple songs here and just drag them into the auto mix. So we've got a couple songs listed in there. We'll go back to karaoke. And what we can do is we can just click the little start button here, which is your karaoke start. So we click on it and your song is loaded for Brian. You see the background music is already playing. This is the second waveform, the first one. So as soon as we press play for Brian, so put your hands together for Brian. We press play on the deck. That music automatically stops and Brian's song starts to play. So this is playing through. We'll just quickly fast forward to the end of the track and see what happens when the track finishes. We go right back to our background music. So you can choose a folder, you can choose a different file, you can choose a auto mix list or a side list. So that is a really cool feature. And to turn that off, you just go back to your karaoke uh, side list icon here, the start stop button, click on it, and your background music will turn off. The other option that we have is the background image. So basically what you're doing here is you're selecting the background image when you do not have karaoke files playing on the screen. So if you're in a venue that has multiple screens and uh, the patrons in the venue can see the words on the screen, it's nice to maybe have your DJ logo or uh, drink specials or something up on the screen when there's no words up there. So when the background music is playing, the background image will appear. So I hope that explains it a little more. Let me know if you need any more detail. Your comments and suggestions are welcome. And you can leave those in the comment section just down below. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Don't forget to share it with your friends. As always, thank you for watching and keep your head in the mix.